Today I'd like to examine the why and wherefore of several works of art. James Lara, also known as Dr. Jaime Lara, is an award-winning and highly accomplished educator. I was always interested in archaeology and history. Lara wrote five books and taught at universities including Yale and Notre Dame. Until last Thursday, he was a professor of medieval and renaissance studies at Arizona State University. But when the Brooklyn Diocese posted Lara's name, along with 12 other men on its website identifying them as former priests who were laicized due to credible allegations of sexual abuse, officials at the university asked Lara to resign. A statement reads, quote, Jaime Lara is no longer affiliated with Arizona State University, effective Thursday, November 9th. The other names of alleged sexual abusers released by the Brooklyn Diocese are Christopher Lee Coleman, William E. Finger, Joseph P. Burns, Stephen Placa, Thomas O. Morrow, Romano J. Ferraro, Charles M. Mangini, Robert J. McConnon, Thomas B. Nohilly, Barry E. Ryan, Patrick Sexton, and Daniel J. Sheehan. The diocese is only releasing the names of former priests who are still living. It's about releasing the names of people who may have access to children. Obviously, if someone is deceased, um, they don't pose a risk to children. Carolyn Ersted, spokeswoman for the diocese, explains why the names are being released now, in some cases decades after the men were removed from ministry. We have had the opportunity to re-examine some cases and continue ongoing dialogue with survivors of abuse. And this has led Bishop DiMarzio to make some new decisions, take some new action for the protection of children. Ersted says the opportunity to re-examine cases arose from Bishop DiMarzio's independent reconciliation and compensation program, which allows survivors of abuse to apply for financial compensation. Bishop DiMarzio announced the program in June with a video statement. We will never stop working towards reform, reparation, and reconciliation. Here in the Diocese of Brooklyn, we reaffirm our commitment to the protection of children. In 2002, as part of sweeping reform, all previous allegations of abuse reported to the diocese were turned over to the local district attorneys. At the same time, a policy was implemented requiring the diocese to immediately turn over any new allegations to the proper authorities. Credible allegations result in the removal of a priest or deacon and a public announcement. And according to the Brooklyn Diocese, at least 233 claims have been filed through the Independent Reconciliation and Compensation Program, and every settlement offer has been accepted. In Windsor Terrace, Tim Harfman, Currents News.